Were you bowled over by the holdovers? <laughs> All right, that's the last one. And just so you know, there will be spoilers. Sir, I don't understand. That's glaringly apparent. I can't fail this class. Oh, don't sell yourself short, Mr. Coates. I truly believe that you can. Yes, <laughs> yes, I was. Yes. Tell me I why. I love it. It is number two on my list of rankings for best picture nominees mm. i know we disagree i love it i think it's fantastic it's one of those films that's a slow burn but you feel like you're just traveling along in the lives of these characters it's one i would watch if i was home kind of sick and i just needed kind of a comfort movie mm. reminiscent of lost in translation just kind of the slow character study mm. i loved the odd trio of the mm. teacher the student and the kitchen supervisor each one struggling with their own um, challenges kind of all related to race relationship um, pain and hurt and the way that they came together and unexpected ways to support one another. Um, yeah. Loved it. Awesome. I, I know a lot of people love this movie and I really want to love it because I love these types of movies. And so I don't want to like yuck anybody's yum because I'm, I'm like a big advocate for this type of movie and I want to see more like it get made. I think well, the problem for me was like, I understood it all intellectually, but you know what it is? It's totally me being a movie snob a little bit. Um, and I'm and I'm going to just put that out there and admit that. It's, Own it. It's me going, yeah, I, I he's making a Hal Ashby movie uh, from the 70s. Like it felt like a movie from the 70s, like, in, and I know that's what they were going for intentionally, even in the look. Um, but a lot of those things kind of took me out of the movie. And But why? Really, like, what's wrong with that? Well, I mean, I think when Quentin Tarantino does it, I don't mind because his movies are about movies. And But this movie isn't about a movie. It's about these people. But it makes it about the movie for a while, sort of like, Look at the way we filmed it. It looks like this was shot in the 70s by a 70s camera. This music track is from the set, you know, just like it doesn't evoke the 70s. It just says, hey, look, the 70s. It was I have... like stylized. Like you just you didn't it, it was uh, they overdid it. I feel like they overdid it. I felt like they were they were trying to call attention to it. And I it was and obviously a lot of other people didn't see it that way, but I uh, it was just a a layer that kept me distant from it, that I wanted to engage with it more. And I realize in saying all this, it makes me sound like the biggest snob in the world. <laughs> I just don't get um, it. I feel like you got so hung up that you couldn't see all the good in it. And that I'm just sad for you about that. <laughs> <laughs> like, I understand the good. I understand it intellectually. I think the performances are good. If Paul Giamatti won, I would be very happy. I thought Dominic Sessa was very good in his first movie role. And of course, uh, Divine Joy Randolph. I, I watched an interview with her and she was talking about like the accent she created for that character and just like I love all those little things I just like I've seen Paul Giamatti better elsewhere and I've seen Alexander Payne the director make better movies like, mm. like Sideways was a movie mm. that also had Paul Giamatti which he, sh yes. he was he was he was snubbed for um yep. and that movie did evoke like a 70s movie vibe without like Blah, spelling it out. I don't know. I oh. I had problems with it. I gotta say, Divine Joy uh, Randolph, she was like the heart of this film. Like mm -hmm. she brought so much like heart and love and and enthusiasm. Like if it weren't for her, it would have fallen much more flat for me. I just I adored her, and I would be totally thrilled if she won yeah. Best Supporting Actress. Yeah. Well, she gets to be the glue in this odd trio. Mm -hmm. Like she's no longer like it's the last place where she gets to be the glue in her mm -hmm. life and yeah so to see that to see that as a redemptive arc you know i will give the movie another try i promise um please do yeah yeah i want to like it i'm glad people like it you should like it you're wrong <laughs> you're, you're right I change your like mind <laughs> Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We're gonna be doing some more of these videos talking about Oscar-nominated films. So, uh, 
yeah, stay tuned. We have a couple fun ones coming up. I'll be talking with Michelle on some other videos and uh, also want to take this opportunity to plug myself. I am a filmmaker. I am a director, a screenwriter, and an editor and uh, would love to work with you if you have ideas for storytelling videos either for your business or for other needs. Let's have a chat. Thank you.